Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by my pink friend over here, when I pull this out you already know what's coming and you probably already guessed by the title of this video too. So today is going to be a do-it-yourself. You guys seem to pretty much enjoy my first do-it-yourself on this channel. So I thought maybe I should come for a second one. And also the videos that do like the best on this channel are the videos where I dress like a celebrity for a week. And I haven't been doing much of those lately because I'm in quarantine as you guys know and committing to 7 days dressing good or at least trying to look good for 7 days. I just think it's too much of a commitment when you're in quarantine because your mood is all over the place, at least for me. So I was trying to wait for things to get better to be back on those type of videos. I'm giving just a little bit more time to see how things are going, but either way it seems to be getting better and if that's the case, I'll be going back to those videos soon. But in the meantime, I thought what if I combine the do-it-yourself with a dress like celebrity? So I saw this picture of Kylie Jenner online on Instagram and she has some really cool jeans which I later found out they were from Alexander Wang and I actually looked up the price and it's $300 which I, I won't say like it's too much or too pricey because maybe they are worth it and they are really good quality my ship has always questions about these things and most of us are not ready to spend $300 on a pair of jeans so I was like maybe I can recreate this on my own so I basically have this pair of jeans here that I actually bought from a pull and bear outlet and they were so cheap, I bought them for like $5.99, something like that, it was very very cheap and I kind of like them but at the same time I don't use them as much so I think this is like the perfect pair for me to, to do this and then I have this shell fabric black pants here which I actually bought from like a huge department store that focus on like sports and stuff here they were super cheap and I won't feel bad of cutting them off so yeah I will be transforming this two into one so all we are going to need for this tutorial is a pair of scissors some black thread some sewing pins and a sewing machine or needle if you are going to sew by hand so the first thing we are going to do is to actually cut the track pants we have this sewing here on both of the sides and I'm going to start with the outer side here and what I'm going to do is to just start cutting really close to the sewing and just go for it If it has pockets like this one, you need to have a little bit more strength because you need to cut them too. And here just cut the elastic as well, don't worry too much about it. Let's do the same with the other leg. So right now they are only united by the inner leg sewing right here and that's what we are going to cut now so basically we're going to do the same thing just cut ahead go for it you can also buy some vintage pants for this or really cheap department store pants like this one so you don't need to ruin a good pair of pants last last part perfect so the front part we are not going to need and we have the back part already cut it and ready to sew now for the jeans we are going to do exactly the same thing but this time we want the front of the jeans so right now instead of cutting here we are going to cut here and let's go for it no going back now I know somebody in the comments will be like my heart stopped when she started cutting those jeans <laughs> I know guys you always say this kind of stuff but just remember it's for a good purpose here you need a little bit more strength but you can do it let's do the same with the other leg ok 
Okay, so we have the outer sewing here already cut it off So now we are going to work on the inner one. So I'm just going to start cutting just like I did with the track pants So we have our front part here which is all that matters to us on this do-it-yourself. So next step is just to lay your front part of the jeans like this and we are going to lay on top the back part of the track pants but inside out like this and use a bunch of sewing pins just to keep them together like this. We are doing this before taking them to the sewing machine to make sure that they stay in place while we are sewing it. And as you can see here on the bottom, there's like one inch here where the jeans are a little bit longer and on the Alexander Wang ones, they have a little pleat here on the knees. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because it's going to help me to adjust the length. So I'll just do a little pleat here on the jeans and this is going to make the sizes fit perfectly and we will do exactly the same with the other side and now for the inner parts you want to start here right in the middle of the inner part of the legs and then start coming down On the inner part, the length seems to be really cool, so we don't need to do a pleat. Okay, so everything is ready, and now we are going to bring this to the sewing machine. So I'm going to start by sewing the outer part here. Now, all the outer part of the pants are already sewed, and I'm starting to sewing like all the inner part of the legs. Okay, so we have everything sewed now and the last last part of this do-it-yourself is just to turn them inside out, it's just as easy as that. I think this is actually a very easy do-it-yourself, I'm just hoping that it goes well. So this is a surprise for you guys and for me as well. Let's see the magic happen. It's looking good, so far so good. Our pleats are looking good as well. This is how they look, I'm pretty happy about them. I just don't know how they are going to fit, I'm just hoping they fit good but they are looking good at least, which is a plus and I like these details here I think it's time for me to just try them on Okay guys, I have them on, so are you ready for the reveal? I'm actually pretty happy about them, so let's see what you guys think Okay guys, so this is how they look I think they ended up pretty cool actually, I love that you turn and you can see like both colors I think that's super cool I think the Alexander Wang ones are probably a little bit wider so next time I would like to try this tutorial with a huge pair of jeans but I really love how they fall on the shoes so yeah I think overall it is a very cool do-it-yourself that you guys can do and you can play around with colors and shapes and use the back part that you want in the color that you want and in the fabric that you want. Just pick two pair of pants and combine them together and I think they would look cool. So now I'm gonna take this pants out to just do a little lookbook and take some pictures with them for my Instagram. So I will show you a little bit of how they behave like moving and with a little lookbook. So let's go. guys thank you so so much for watching this video if you like do it yourselves and want to see more just make sure you give a thumbs up on this video so i know that you guys like this type of videos also don't forget to subscribe this family is growing and i'm really so so proud of us so yeah don't forget to subscribe to your girl follow me on instagram and tiktok all the links are down on the description and come back for the next one bye guys